Yeah, and if you if you want to take a look at what is going on in Ukraine, the key issue there, if you want economic sanctions against Russia to have any effect at all, well, everybody knows that means it has to be European sanctions. Our trade with Russia is just too small. Um, here's the problem, set a whole set of problems. Uh, Europe is 28 countries. They want to move in lockstep. They need a consensus to do that. That means any big European country or a few small European countries can raise their hand and say, no, we're not happy with this. We don't want to go this. The, the Europeans have kind of a, a triple catch-22 in that, okay, which sanctions? The French are selling Navy ships and defense technology to Russia. They don't want to give that up. The British have all kinds of Russian money coming into London, both in the financial markets and even in the real estate markets. Lots of Russians buying fancy real estate. And boy, you want to think of something that's politically sensitive at home. Talk about depressing the high-end real estate market, okay? <laughs> the Germans get 40% of their energy from Russia and are exquisitely sensitive to what's going on there. So getting all of that to move forward actually has taken some phone calls by the President of the United States. It is moving forward. The, the, uh, the Europeans at the end of this week actually did uh, take a step toward ratcheting their sanctions up to the level that the United States uh, has, has established. But boy, it's like pulling teeth.